Hello ladies and gentlemen, Heraldry X here with kind of a rant video, and I'm going to apologize, I'm probably going to rant loudly, and I'm probably going to start coughing in the middle of this because I'm still dealing with whatever this cough is, but I, I saw this and I needed, I needed to, to talk about it because I, this is why I hate people, I hate people. Browsing Reddit, uh, one of the subreddits that I follow is the game collecting subreddit because obviously, you know, I have a few. Uh, and, you know, it's a good place to be like, hey, if you've got an extra copy, you can, it's collector. It's, it's a... Anyway, post was cross-posted there from the PC Master Race of Reddit, which is already just going to just be fine, isn't it? In which someone had a original Xbox Alpha Tower dev kit. Now, apparently there are two versions of this. There's Alpha 1 and Alpha 2. The Alpha 1s have, like, an Xbox logo on the front type thing, and the Alpha 2s just have, like, a circle thing. Uh, but apparently, incredibly rare. Uh, in fact, in the thread, it talks about that there's probably only, like, 50 of these things, and that's the only other number... That's the only number I can really find. I can't find too much information on the Alpha 1s. That seems to be the rarity of it. Um, most of the conversation on uh, websites I found on, like, similar games states that it's, you know, exceedingly rare. And this person gutted the thing. Just tore out all the, the, the inner workings to make a custom PC case because internet points. <coughs> <coughs> the fuck? Really? And then when people try to explain to the person that you have destroyed history, uh, because he is adamant that he saw nothing on it, that there was it, the hard drive had already been wiped, even though multiple people, like uh, it is in a different format. It's meant, dev kits function differently than computers. It's going to be in its own uh, format. It's in its own little you know world basically, and there could have been ways to recover the data on it if it had in fact been wiped. Uh, but it seems like it was just he didn't see anything on it and assumed it was empty. Uh, but having zero information and zero knowledge of how dev kits actually work. And so he just gutted it and took all the pieces out and just kind of... There's a... He has all of the pieces. It's on, you know, a wonderful picture of all of these pieces laying on his carpet. So hopefully... It's still... But... His argument was that he wasn't planning on selling it. He wanted something neat, something special. And, you know, doesn't care the fact that, you know, there could have been alpha... Uh, versions of, like, Halo, you know, back when it was third person, or, you know, when they were still transitioning from Halo originally being a, a PC game to becoming a, a, an Xbox exclusive. Could have had a build of that. It could have had a build of anything that came out on the original Xbox at the beginning, and any of the launch stuff. No one knows. And apparently now no one ever will know, because he's like, oh, I wasn't planning on selling it, I'm just, like, then donate it. As someone who is very much a proponent of, you know, categorizing, chronicling, and preserving gaming history, uh, and the fact that, you know, one of the things that just saddens me to this day is so many of the Saturn games will never, ever see the light of day again because the source codes were deleted to make room for Dreamcast source codes. That something like this happened. All because of Durr. And a lot of people blame the PC Master Race mentality of, you know, everything console is peasantry, and so even dev kits for console just need to be trashed. I don't think it's that malicious. I just think it's a level of stupidity that is just sad, really. Because you don't know what could have been on that. No one knows what could have been on that. And now it seems like no one's ever going to know. And it might as well just be paperweights at this point. Um, hopefully, the the original OP gets his head out of his ass and realizes that he destroyed something of great value and tries to get it into the hands of someone who might know what to do with it. Because imagine just for a moment. So say there are like 50 of these. Say the person who found the SNES uh, PlayStation prototype decided, oh, well, it doesn't work. I can't do anything with it. I'm just going to 
rip parts of it out and I'm gonna make it a home theater PC. I mean, not too far off of what happened. <laughs> I this one is a one of a kind prototype versus a fifty of a kind. So I mean, we're we're dealing with numbers, but the numbers are so infinitesimally low, it doesn't matter. <coughs> it <coughs> it really does just kind of boggle the mind. And I really hope again that the the original OP does something, gets it to one of the, the groups that tries to, to, to preserve gaming history uh, in some way, shape, or form. At this point, I don't really care who. Just someone. Give it to Ben Heck. He might, you know, might be able to fix it. But at what point do you sit here and say, I've got this thing that's exceedingly rare that I want to destroy. Like, a lot of people commented when I made my Sega Saturn PC, what what happened? I was like, well, I bought a case off of eBay from a from someone who refurbishes Sega Saturn. Like, they refurbish consoles. So it's, this was a case. They had other parts, but the case was not in good shape, so they didn't want to just put stuff in it. So... They took the working parts of that into a better case, and that's it. It was a broken case. Not, I took a legitimate Sega Saturn, it was still in working order, and just ripped everything out and put console parts in it. And all of the people that do, like, the NES PCs, the SNES PCs, uh, things like that, most of the time they're like, no, I took a defunct unit, and you did that, as opposed to just ripping parts of it out for no fucking reason. Oh, God, it just makes me so angry. It really does. Really, really does. Because, like, Saturn's not even that rare. I mean, they're going to become more rare as time goes on because, you know, all the moving parts, it's eventually going to start breaking down. But, <coughs> like, that's, that's, oh, it's terrible. Anyway, I just felt the need to share this. I don't think I'm going to post links to any of this. I'm sure it can be found by people who are entre uh, enterprising enough to, to, to search uh, the, the subreddits mentioned, but I'm, I'm not going to post any direct links because I do feel kind of bad for the, the OP that did this at this point because just the, like, even in the PC Master Race subreddit, everyone's like, dude, you fucked up. What is wrong with you uh, because you know not all of them are terrible people oh uh, that's mean that's mean um but i'm gonna go with that one i do feel a little bad for him because of the the shit storm that has descended upon him even the fact that i'm making a video about this is just a part of this shit storm that is kind of descending upon him which is why i'm not mentioning names but still at the same time you destroyed a piece of gaming history for what? What did you put in this case that was even, like, looking at the specs, it's like, there was nothing special about that. Nothing. You could have, like, if you didn't want to donate it, get it into the hands of someone who was, if it was all about money, you could have sold it. Well, it wasn't about money. It was about st stupid, stupid e basically. Like, I want to have some sort of fictional dick measuring contest on the internet of, I made this cool case that apparently no one seems to really like because of what you did to do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of something to equate it to in art, literature, music, something. Like, I took, you know, the Statue of David and, you know, ground it up and made a a wall retaining wall. I don't, I don't, I can't even think of a simile for this. I really can't. Really can't. I should have asked Culex for a simile. He would have been able to piece one together really easily. <coughs> but, yeah. So, I'm going to go and continue coughing. And I, I'm going to beg 
and plead to anyone out there who may catch this video, you know, two, three, five, ten years down the line, who knows, if you get a hold of something gaming related that is exceedingly rare, that has ties to gaming history, please do not destroy it. Please. Like, this is the... the we are still in the, the infancy stages of gaming as an artistic medium. We don't need to go around destroying history. We don't need any eyeball signing crackheads. It's funny, but not needed. It's phony the squirrel joke. Anyway. Don't destroy it. Please don't destroy it. I, I don't care what you do with it. Hold on to it. And give it to your grandkids. I don't care. Just don't destroy it. Because there's a good chance whatever you have may be irreplaceable at some point. <coughs> it's... I mean, think about what could have been on that hard drive at one point, and that could have been recovered. And we will never know. Just, yeah, please please don't destroy it. So, I'm gonna go and try to calm my seething hatred right now. So, uh, thank you all for listening to the rant. Uh, again, if you have any thoughts or comments on it, please, you know, post it in the comment section or respond in some way, shape, or form. Um... I can't imagine I'll get too much hate about this, but you never know. Some people might just be very angry about... His, uh, I don't know. I can't even think of anyone that would defend this without just sounding terrible. But uh, there might be an argument that I'm missing. I don't know. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on the possible destruction of gaming history. Oh God, it's so terrible. Meantime, later, everyone.